Well, good afternoon, everybody. It is still a uh, Sunday afternoon. The 12th of May. Yeah. <coughs> we just got back uh, from town. I uh, had to run in there and get some uh, white corn for our dogs as we were just about out. And a few other uh, odds and ends. And that, so uh, hopefully we won't have to go in for a day or two here. The biggest thing with us, all the running around for water and helping uh, John and Cheryl uh, this last week, I was pretty low on gas, so I had to put some in. The station right close to us here doesn't carry the premium, and that's all I run in my vehicle. I had so much problems with the regular gas here. Uh, the carburetors falling up on everything, whether it was my grass cutters or uh, my multi cab, and that. So I switched over to the premium, and since then uh, I haven't had a problem with any of them. But a question I'm asking today is Are products in the Philippines inferior? I've always thought that when I got here, uh, and this is over the course of being here now uh, close to nine years that most of the products here are uh, India's junk and China's junk and they sell it to the Philippines and send it here because it's not only cheap but uh, <laughs> there's no return policy here at least what I would call a return policy I've always heard of the three-day deal here I've never seen it in effect <laughs> period and most anything will last for three days, uh, two to three days. So it's basically no policy at all. And uh, the fact of customer service and the customer is always right is uh, definitely a fallacy here. It, neither one uh, exists to any degree whatsoever. I've run into a few uh, business people that it does, and I appreciate them and do my business with them, but uh, as a general rule, no. And what you're looking at is a pair of shoes that were sent to me uh, four months ago from Australia. Now, I buy a lot of little shoes like this, and I like wearing them in the yard. The sandals never did work out for me too much. I tried to harden my feet up. Yeah, you got to do that when you're young and uh, growing, <laughs> growing up. Uh, trying to do it when you're an old guy is uh, just doesn't work. The so cuts and the bruises and <laughs> everything like that. Uh, just, uh, yeah, it don't work for us. So I went back to basically wearing shoes and socks, and especially when I'm doing the yard work here at all. And I've gone through a number. I like the lightweight type tennis shoe here and oh gosh I can't even tell you the number I've gone through here and you're lucky if they last a month or two at the absolute most uh, the first thing that happens is the sole separates from the rest of the shoe and generally comes loose up around the toe and then it just works its way down from that I've had the sole actually split in half right in the middle where it bends the most uh, yeah, pretty amazing, and that, and uh, I finally just gave up and thought, uh, you know, I'll, I guess I just got to buy a pair of shoes uh, every couple months or so, and one of our viewers sent me this pair, like I said, from Australia. I've now been wearing them for four months, probably the first month whenever we went into town. I liked them. They were so comfortable that I started wearing them every day for all my chores around here. So they've gotten wet, they've gotten dirty, we've had to hand wash them out and scrub them and everything else and uh, look at them. Not only is the sole still attached, <laughs> but uh, the insole is still glued in and still there in one piece. Uh, I'm absolutely amazed. And I guess uh, it's very simply the fact that uh, when you, when uh, foreigners or China or India that sends Bangladesh or anyone anyway, sends products to the states or like Australia where there are return policies and customer service, 
uh, they send their top of the line. And uh, the stuff that really doesn't pass inspection uh, comes to the Philippines. And a matter of fact, when I first moved here, one of the first guys that helped me with my visa and everything like that, who was a resident here, basically from America, but was a permanent resident here, informed me, uh, initially says, you'll run into this. Everything here is going to break. <laughs> it's going to deteriorate faster than you've ever seen, and there's just no getting around it. It's something that you got to get used to unless you can bring products in, uh, like I said, from, uh, from the States where uh, there is good customer service and that and uh, like I said from China if they had a return policy here because China still makes all this stuff and I'm just trying to think of where this actually came from here uh, made in Vietnam I do believe so yeah, they're made in Vietnam, but again, they uh, were shipped to Australia, and that's the whole difference there, the top of the line, because uh, I know in Australia, if you like America, if you get a shipment in, and it doesn't meet your standards, it not only goes back, but you'll never order them again. So, uh, yeah, there's a big difference in products here, and I don't know if you ever get used to it, it kind of uh, gets under my craw quite a bit and that because uh, you go through everything so fast and I appreciate the viewer that uh, sent me these these are absolutely outstanding what's amazing is that El Tourist when we were up there shopping about a week ago I saw this exact same shoe pretty amazing but it wasn't made in Vietnam <laughs> uh, I, I'm real leery at buying it. I would just like to buy a pair and use them once and just see how fast they really go. Uh, just to kind of have something to compare them to. But uh, yeah, and that's just basically uh, one product here. And that I know uh, if you look at my feet here, I've got a boot on my feet here that uh, I actually brought at a high-end shop in Cebu at uh, the mall and I mean they cost me ooh, 14 15 thousand pesos uh, I've gotten a lot of wear and tear in them because I knew that uh, basically they were a good quality boot and everything because of the wear and tear I've had to replace the sole on them once and they're finally after umpteen years eight years <laughs> they're finally kind of wearing down but uh, I've definitely got the use out of them, and there's still probably, uh, you know, a lot of good use in them. Yet, they've not even ever really been washed or anything. Like I said, the one thing I had to do was replace the soles on them. And, that, uh, and I kind of look at my other foot here. It's more or less like a lightweight hiking boot. And like I said, these have never even been washed, much less anything like that. But... Uh, after about six years, uh, the sole split and came loose at the, at the toe. And uh, I got a whole replacement. And our shoe repair guy here in Taliban is absolutely excellent. Does a, just an outstanding job at repairing shoes. And it's worthwhile more so to go to him than to go out and buy a new pair of shoes. So that will give you some idea here. If you're, if you're thinking of moving here or, or whatever, boy, if there's anything you want in products that you want to last, ship them here, bring them with you. And that because the chance of them here, there are some products. Uh, like I said, I, I picked up a steel grass cutter. Excellent piece of machinery. And you can just tell by the accessories that come with it and everything else that it is... Uh, basically uh, an excellent product and of course I had steel chainsaws when I lived in the mountains in Montana so uh, I was uh, <clears throat> well aware of the quality 
and that. And like I said, I've run mine already, gosh, probably two to three years and that. And uh, like I said, there are a few excellent products here. You really have to look for them uh, and kind of look hard for them. And the best places, of course, are Cebu or here on the island in Tag Balaran. Uh, but in general, uh, your general uh, line of products and your general, uh, what should I say, department stores, uh, kind of be wary. And that because, like I said, you don't exactly know what you're getting here. Anyhow, I'm going to say goodbye for now. Thanks for viewing, and may God bless every single one of you.